Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something totally different that I've never uploaded here before. It is Halo. A lot of you may not know this, but I am a very big Halo fan and it's been a part of my life ever since I grew up. But today we're going to be talking about gameplay reveal that just came out for Halo Infinite. But real quick before we get into the gameplay, I just wanted to point out in these cutscenes if nobody noticed, they're trying to follow along with a, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie, 1917. They're trying to go with a one take, one shot cinematic way. Uh, so what this means is they're basically trying to keep the camera constantly moving around the characters and have the cinematic in one shot. It makes it feel a lot more fluid and connects with your own gameplay yourself. Uh, you're not going to be dealing with those cuts anymore. It's not going to be very traditional like we always seen. Now we see Chief walking out of the back of the Pelican and you can hear that ambience is super super nice sounding. Uh, and art style in my opinion I really like it. It's been very controversial so far today uh, from what I've seen of everybody talking. Uh, that rifle as well directly out of Halo Reach. Uh, no doubt about it that is a Reach uh, AR and I believe the reason people are saying this game doesn't look that great is if you look down on like the grass and stuff I, I do not believe the ambient occlusion is on. Dumbed down or either they were not playing on a Series X and they were playing on an Xbox One X, but I do not believe this is what the game's gonna look like upon release. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, uh, the demos and the betas are nothing like the actual game themselves. Now we just saw them open up that map there. In the top you can see it gives you a uh, pack map option, upgrades, and database. I believe that database place is going to just be there for uh viewing your objectives or achievements stuff like that you can push towards in the the campaign considering it is open world now and two we have that upgrades tab i don't know entirely what it is but i did read up on the halo waypoint website that this is uh, a way to upgrade your abilities with your armor or something of that nature now i see i uh, hear he plows through just a ton of enemies with that warthog and just destroys them but I personally believe this game uh, really feels similar to a cross between Halo 3 and Reach. It looks great. It's supposed to be cartoonish slash realistic hybrid. Now right there we just saw that classic ADS. It's really nice to see that, that they're taking away from that Halo 4 and 5 ADS and they're going back to that original look that we had in Halo 1. We see that um, he shoots his foot, the group becomes unstable and he loses his balance which allows you to get that headshot. That's pretty cool to considering we might be able to our advantage in fights. I knock enemies off balance judging by where we hit them. We see he drop his grappling hook ability and another ability which I just suppose replaces the bubble shield. I really hope it doesn't because I like that a lot. But I mean it's really cool at the end of the day we get a new ability. And here as well we see him show off the grapple hook and he throws a grenade on that brute. It's pretty interesting. I want to see how it's going to play out. I don't know how that movement assistance will play out in multiplayer. But I feel like it could be pretty interesting. We never know until we actually play for ourselves. Here we get to see as well just the absolute scale of the game. And they said this is just a small portion of the whole area we're going to be able to explore. So that tells me we might be able to explore the whole ring uh, for all we know. I don't know how that's going to be because you cannot see right here off in the distance. It doesn't look like you can just keep going in that direction and end up there. So I'm interested to see how they're going to make that blend with the gameplay and make it consistent. But for the most part, we're going to be getting a very, very large area to explore and have fun with. If you haven't picked up on it already, we have a day-night cycle. So the whole time you're going to be playing is going to be transitioning daytime and nighttime. That's pretty cool, and I want to know if it's going to affect the way the, the Banished fight with you. I'm also really curious to see how they're going to make the world play out in Halo. Like, are you going to have some sort of base to work with to resupply at? Because uh, you got to consider there's no cuts in between the missions anymore. You're, you're going to have to keep your ammo up, keep weapons up. i uh, curious if the Warthog is going to work as like a resupply point, but he uses his grapple again, and then you're going to see him pick up a fusion coil here. Now, I... Personally, I'm not a fan of this. I It, it kind of throws off the flow of Halo. I don't feel like you should be able to pick up items like that and throw them and use them as explosives. Uh, you should only be able to shoot them because they're like they should be in strategic locations to eliminate a group of enemies. You should be able to decide that on your own. But like I said, we can see how that plays out in gameplay. Really interested on the story front as well. Like, is this Installation 07 or Installation 09? Continuing off of Halo 5's ending and Halo Wars 2. Seeing how all that connects to this game. Uh, it's going to be pretty crazy to see how it plays out considering we aren't fighting the Covenant anymore. And now the Banished. 
Uh, but it is a new experience for new players hopping in as well. They're trying to blend that experience between new players and the people that are coming back trying to follow along the story. Really, really interesting to see how they're going to make that work out. Move on here to the second trailer that we got. It was a quick uh, campaign gameplay trailer. It's a minute long. Uh, there are two things I wanted to point out to everybody. First being the energy sword. We did not see it in here, but we get to see it now. Uh, it is not in a vertical stance like it was in Halo 3. It is horizontal. That goes back to Halo 2. We get that back again. That's pretty cool. And the big one out of this trailer that I wanted to point out as well is the battle rifle. Not many people must have seen it because I haven't seen anybody talk about it, but it's just for a split second you get to see it. Uh, but it is the classic Halo 3 battle rifle that we see. It's very, very cool that they're bringing this back. People in the community are going to appreciate it a lot more. I, I'm not too sure if this is a Halo 2 or Halo 3 battle rifle. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it is a Halo 3 rifle. It could be either or. I don't know if they were the same in both games, but it is... All in all, definitely cool to see that they're bringing that old design back instead of the one from like Halo 4 and Halo 5. I did not like that one. And not to mention the old classic music that we get back from Halo in the trailer. If you guys haven't had a chance to check this one out, go over to Halo's YouTube channel and watch this trailer. It is definitely worth it. But all in all, I really like this game. I am I have high hopes for it. Like I said, it's just a demo, so uh, it's not really a good idea to go off and make some crazy assumptions like i've seen a lot of people on the internet doing so far there's a lot to be told about the game still this was literally just to show us the gameplay itself and what it's gonna be like i uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know if you want to see more halo content because i love this game i love the whole franchise everything i i would love to make more videos on it but if you guys enjoyed the video like i said please drop a like and subscribe to the channel we are trying to grow as much as possible and i will catch you guys on the next video perfect yeah perfect.